welcome to DFT Code Word YouTube channel. Today we are going to learn about the uh, calculation of thermoelectric parameters uh, within, within bootstrap code interface with Quantum Espresso. For these calculations, you, you just simply need two input files that is the SCF.in and NSCF.in. Uh, NSCF.in is very important, but this NSCF is equally important, but this SCF.in file can be replaced by simply relaxed file. So this file should be constructed uh, as SCF and uh, the cutoff energy, which is said to be a bit higher. Occupation is not as important for the current case because we uh, only use it for the uh, heavy metals, where the uh, occupation of electron is uh, far more important. So for the current case, it is not important. and and this shifted k grid uh, by this 111 index. Uh, we, we can also check this by applying 000, that is unshifted k grid. But for this tutorial, we are going to use this shifted k grid. So we have to simply run this SEF file with quantum espresso by applying this command I am we applying MPI run and it's NP8 8 cores and simply providing the path of pw.x executable and then my input file will be called as cf.in and output file is scf.out. You can see that SCF calculations are started scf.out so as the old die is directly completed created these calculations are completed and now I will have to run the NSCF file so the change in NSCF file is simple the SCF is replaced with NSCF and verbosity is set to high to print the bands and the grid is more denser that is 12 12 12 and shifted K grid so for the current case, I have uh, applied the, the occupation as smearing and the gauss values is there. Just run the NSCF file. So after this, uh, we just need, simply need to create a new folder uh, in the name of prefix used in these calculation that is SI. I have to create a new folder and meanwhile the SEF dot SI folder will be created in this file in this folder and you can simply see that after the completion of NSF calculation we just simply need to copy this NSF dot out file into this folder to run further you can see that the NSF calculations are completed and we simply need to go into the SCI folder which we just created and simply copy NSCF file NSCF dot out to this folder and now rename this NSCF dot out file with the extension or name of the prefix used for this calculation you can simply see that the NSCF dot out file is renamed as SCF dot SI.NSF.out. So next is to note the Fermi energy because it is very important actually for the calculation of thermoelectric properties. So we just need to use the uh, utility which will convert the quantum espresso file to the uh, to the input for bootstrap. So for that we will use the utility available in our utility folder like that this is python script so we will simply call this python script by applying python and then the path of that script which is which is the utility and quantum espresso to bootstrap then simply apply the provide the name of prefix it will automatically uh, use the si.nscf.out file and 
after that it is pw and then the fermi energy zero will be used to exclude the lowest band you can see that few additional files have been created in this folder this bootstrap.def file is important to run further but more important one is this itrans intrans file you can see that the fermi energy is, is converted to redberg unit and this is the important as the chemical potential value and the most important is temperature grade the maximum temperature value is 800 with the temperature grade uh, 50 it will depend upon your choice you can use the maximum value as 1200 or 600 for this calculation i am going with 800 value it will uh, go from 50 to 800 with the step of 50 you can also change this grid to 20 it will uh, calculate from 20 to 800 with step size of 20 so this is actually the temperature grid uh, you can simply say that the step size so i am going uh, to calculate it uh, up to 800 kelvin and with the step size of 50 from 50 to 800 so for this i simply need to call the important extrans available in source file source folder in this one so i have to provide the uh, path of this extrans file and simply calling the bootstrap dot def file as you, you you have to remove this dot def extension it is very important to provide the correct path and the correct name of this this file so you can see that i have simply provided extrans this bootstrap file rather than the extension dot def after changing the si dot in trans file you can use i repeat that you can use uh, you can change uh, the t max and temperature grid and then run simply this file with you can see that it is creating the extra files now the thermoelectric properties are thermoelectric properties are being calculated so thermoelectric properties are completed and the most important file which is further processed is this dot dot trace file by simply opening it you can see that it, the temperature grid is from 50 to 800 against against the different potential chemical potential values so the first column is your chemical potential second one is the temperature grid this is carrier concentration that is the dos at fermi level this is the seebeck coefficient that is the uh, electrical conductivity this is the hall effect coefficient this is the thermoelectric uh, parameter named as thermal conductivity is electronic part and this is uh, the c c v actually and this is the chi so this is your important file that is the trace file dot trace file this file is further uh, used to extract the data for uh, the thermoelectric parameters i hope you have learned uh, to calculate thermoelectric properties uh, with quantum espresso and bootstrap combined thank you for watching this video